everyone, welcome back to Study Hat. In today's video, we'll be learning Introduction to Algebra. So the learning objectives for today's video would be to understand the basics of algebra and to balance number equations. So let's have a look at this worked example first. We've got x minus 6 equals to 4 and they want us to find what x is. So working backwards, we can see that x should be bigger than 6 and it should be 4 more bigger than 6. Okay, because you take away 6 from x, you're left with 4. So, if you actually work backwards, you do 6 plus 4, you actually get 10, which is why x is actually equals to 10. Now we check our answer and we see 10 minus 6 equals 4. So x is equals to 10. Now let's try this question. We've got b minus 11 equals 20. So now we can see that b has to be bigger than 11 and 20. And b is 11 more than 20. Okay, so 11 plus 20 gives us... 31. Let's try 31 minus 11 equals 20. Now let's check. Do you think this is correct? 31 minus 11 gives us 20? Yep. So B is actually equals to 31. Okay. Now we've got D plus 7 equals 12. So we know that D is smaller than 12 because D plus 7 gives us 12. Okay, so now what plus 7 gives us 12? 5 plus 7 gives us 12. So D is actually equals to 5. Okay, now if X is 9, what is Y? So we've got X plus Y equals to 13. So what we do is we actually sub or substitute X equals to 9 into this equation here, which is why see X becomes 9. 9 plus y gives us 13. So now to find y, what you're going to do is you're going to move the 9 over. Or we're going to minus 9 on both sides to remove the 9. So y is equal to 13 minus 9. And that gives us 4. Okay? So this step is very important. To manipulate an equation, this step is very important. And whatever you do on the left-hand side, you have to do on the right-hand side. Now, we try to work it out in another question. If y is 23, what is x? So what we do is we've got x plus y is 35. So now we're going to sub y equals 23. Okay, so the x remains plus. Now y is 23, so we're going to put 23 here. Gives us 35. Now, I have to find x. How do I find x? I'm going to minus 23 on this side so that I can get rid of this 23. I'm going to minus 23 here because whatever you do on the left-hand side, you've got to do on the right-hand side. So now here I'll be left with x, correct? Equals to 35 minus 23 gives us 12. Therefore, x equals to 12. That's our answer. All right. Now, what is the value of y? So we've got 6 squared plus 4 squared equals 4 plus y. So 6 squared gives us 36. Correct. 4 squared gives us 16. We keep the right hand side the same. Now, this is 52 minus 4. So, 36 plus 16 gives us 52. Now, to get rid of the 4 on here, we're going to minus away the 4, correct? And that's why we've got the minus 4 here. Whatever you do on the right hand side, we do on the left hand side. So, y is equals to 48. Okay? So, now we've got 36 plus 63 is equals to 100 minus y. So, let's work this out first okay so 36 plus 63 gives us 99 equals to 100 minus y so a quick trick here is if i'm going to move this to the left hand side because it's a negative correct if i move it across the equal sign this negative sign actually becomes positive so this becomes positive y now i'm going to keep the 100 here okay now this is a positive 99. So you don't have to write the positive sign here, but it's a positive 99. And if I bring it over the equal sign, what will it become? It will actually become minus 99. So from positive here, it becomes minus 99. So y is equals to 100 minus 99. That gives us 1. So y is actually equals to 1. Now, we've got b times 4 equals 48 divided by y. Okay. So now they've said if b is equal to 6, what is the value of y? So now our first step is to sub or substitute b equals 6. Okay, so we've got 6 times 4 gives us 48 divided by y. 6 times 4 gives us 24 
equals to 48 divided by y. So now from this, you don't really have to manipulate it, but 48 divided by what gives us 24? Actually, 48 divided by 2 gives us 24. Okay? Or another way you can do is, this is where we can manipulate this into this. So 24 is equals to 48 on top divided by y. Now at this point, I'm going to quickly change the color to show you what we're going to do now. I am going to actually swap these two. So that becomes y is equals to 48 divided by 24. Okay, so that's actually uh, an extra step that you can do or a shortcut that you can do. So from here, we can see that y is actually equals to 2. Okay? So today we learned about algebra and how to calculate the missing number by balancing equations. That's it for today's lesson. Have a go at the quiz right after this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!